I want to read now um, Romans one twenty eight through thirty two, and I think this will give you a good description of why I wouldn't want to be an unbeliever, why I wouldn't want to be an atheist, why I wouldn't want to be agnostic, and why I wouldn't want to believe in any other thing. Alright, so it says, And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient. Being filled with awe, now listen, unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, malignity, whisperers, backbiters, haters of God, despiteful, proud, boasters, inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents, without understanding, covenant breakers, without natural affection, implicable, unmerciful, who knowing the judgment of God, that they which commit such things are worthy of death, not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. Wow. So all those things, that's what I would be if, you know, if, if, if I said, all right, I'm not going to believe in God anymore and I'm going to do my own thing, you know, and, you know, that's a perfect description of, of, of the people that reject Jesus Christ as their personal Lord and Savior, you know. Um, and, you know, so you got to ask yourself, you know, what what does uh, atheism have to offer me? You know, what, what does uh, these other religions have to offer me? Or any of these other things have to offer me when... There it is, you know, there it is. All those terrible things, that's what it has to offer me. Why would I want those terrible things? Why would you want those terrible things? Well, I think the reason that a lot of people want those terrible things is for one, okay, they... They don't want to be accountable to God. They want to lead their life as they want to lead it. Okay? They, it's like this. A thief doesn't want to find the policeman because a thief knows what the policeman is going to do. In the same way, a sinner doesn't want to find God because they know what God's going to do. They don't want to give up their unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, malignity, whisperers, backbiters, haters of God, despiteful, proud, boasters, inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents, without understanding, covenant breakers, without natural affection, implicable and unmerciful. They don't want to give up those things because they love them and they have pleasure in doing them and they have pleasure in telling other people to do it too. And it's clear as day um, by just looking at these people, that's the perfect description of them. And man, when you tell them that, they really hate that. They really hate that because that's a true description of them. People don't like to be told, you know, their sin because it bothers people big time. You know, um, so yeah, that, that's what, um, you can get if you decide, you know, I don't need God. I'm going to do it on my own. I'm going to believe what I want. You know, uh, there is no creator. Well, those are the, those are the kind of qualities that you will, um, have in your life. And I don't want those qualities. 
I don't want I don't want to live my life with unrighteousness. I don't want to live my life with fornication. I don't want to live my life with wickedness. I don't want to live my life with envy and murder and debate and deceit and malignity and all these terrible things. I don't want to live my life like that. I want to live my life the opposite of all those things. And that will give you true joy, true peace, and um, it will give you a lot of, you know, power too. And uh, so, you know, that is a good description of, of, you know, these other kinds of people. And, and when it says, you know, um, when these people are filled with um, unrighteousness, wickedness, inventors of evil things, if you look at the world as it is today, you will see our, our government, you know, the United States government, the big government, they are inventing these evil you know, enforcing these evil laws, you know, uh, the government's becoming more of a police state, and, you know, these, this, this is unrighteousness that's taking place in this country. These laws that, you know, the government's trying to pass, outlawing raw milk, you know, that's crazy. You know, when, it's, when it says being filled with, without understanding, that doesn't that's that that is without understanding. Raw milk's a perfectly safe natural food that's been consumed for thousands of years. And these are the kinds of people in the government and in the world. These are the kind of people without God and they don't understand that, you know, that raw milk's healthy for you and good for you. There I mean, you can draw so many arguments from this. That is it's crazy that people see the people know it but they deny it. But but hear me out guys, and that is that the truth will set you free. The truth always wins, okay? Just look at Ron Paul. Ron Paul is a professing Christian and he's got a lot of supporters. A lot of people are for freedom and liberty and our Creator has given us those rights, those liberties and freedoms that we are endowed by our Creator with. And so, you know, you either have two choices. You can either have a life filled with righteousness and goodness and joy and peace and understanding, or you can have a life which I just described to you in this verse. The choice is yours, and you know what I'm going to choose. I'm going to choose a life full of health and wealth and joy and peace, and I'm going to live my life most abundantly without fear and I'm going to live my life with reason and logic. And, you know, all of us have faith. And like I said before, our, our, we put our trust in different things. The question is, are you putting your trust in something that's trustworthy?